Hi viewers, I am Tejas Tony. I am the creator of the Google site Tejas Tech, a place where engineering and general knowledge concepts are at your fingertips. So come on, let's learn. Have you ever imagined about a world without computers, without internet, without electronic devices, without mobile phones? Well, that would have been the world if there is no electronics. So this is evolution of electronics coming under BE104 introduction to electronics. So the first question is what is electronics electronics is simply a branch of science that deals with flow of electrons and their effects in materials such as vacuum gas and semiconductors so what is the difference between electronics engineering and electrical engineering well electronics engineering is concerned with design fabrication and operation of electronic circuits devices and systems it is actually an offshoot of electrical engineering. So the main difference is that electronics deals with low range of voltage, current and power such as micro or milli range. But it possesses the capability of controlling high range of voltage, current and power in the order of kilo and mega units. While electrical engineering deals with high range of voltage, current and power. So talking about the evolution of electronics the main thing is that the evolution of electronics is mainly through three key components the vacuum tube the transistor and the integrated circuit so this is thomas Silva edison what he did is that in 1883 he discovered that electrons will flow from one metal conductor to other through vacuum this phenomenon is called as Edison effect. Following that, John Fleming in 1904 applied Edison effect in inventing a two element electron tube called vacuum diode as shown in the figure. Then following this, Lee D. Forrest developed a three element tube called vacuum triode in 1906. The invention of vacuum triode by Lee D. Forrest in 1906 was the real beginning of electronics. These vacuum tubes help to process electrical signals. They were used in radio communications, telegraph, telephone, etc. Vacuum tubes were made mainly for communication technology before World War II. Then what happened? Radio came in. Radio came in in 1901. It was invented by Marconi. Then after that, television came in in 1927. Bell Laboratories demonstrated first television, while John Logie Baird invented the first television, which is actually a mechanical one, in 1927. 1950, first color television demonstration happened. Then, an invention came by, which changed the entire world. It is a three terminal device called transistor this this invention was done by three people in 1947 William Shockley John Bardeen and Walter Bretain and they worked in Bell laboratory invention of transistor was a significant landmark of modern electronics this invention revolutionized electronic industry due to its features such as lightweight, less power, reliability, 
low cost etc invention of transistor reduced the size of electronic devices then after the invention of transistors there came another device called field effect transistor fet this unipolar field effect transistor was invented in 1952 by william shockley the same william shockley we saw here then after that thyristor was invented thyristor is also called silicon controlled resistor it was a breakthrough happened in 1956 bell developed bell laboratories developed thyristor and it was commercialized by power engineers at general electric company then after that another great leap came in called integrated circuits in 1958 by jack kilby of texas instruments introduced the idea of integrated circuit in which large number of electronic components could be fabricated together on a single chip this marked the beginning of new phase of microelectronics revolution while silicon control transistor generated new era of power electronics integrated circuit marked the beginning of new phase of microelectronics revolution as the technology advanced the number of components fabricated on a chip also increased this advancement in chip fabrication is accordingly called ssi msi lsi vlsi and ulsi and it stands for small scale integration which has less than 100 transistors per chip medium scale integration 100 to 1000 transistors large scale integration which has 1000 to 10000 transistors vlsi with 10000 to 1 million transistors and ulsi which has more than 1 million transistors per chip this resulted in very small low power more efficient electronic devices such as computers mobile phones etc generations of microelectronics in industry is shown as in these figures following the development in the integrated circuits microprocessors became reality the first microprocessor is shown on the right side top it was developed in 1971 by intel it is 4 bit microprocessor then in 1972 intel brought 8 bit microprocessor then 1995 intel gigabit came and now intel has core i9 x series after that there are other events in timeline just to refer in 1837 charles babbage proposed a fully programmable machine which would be later called an analytic engine you know that what is that analytic engine later called computer it happened in 1837 remember thomas alva edison talked about that in 1883 it is in effect in 1883 this is in 1837 then 1941 another person alan turing broke the german enigma code world war 2 devised the turing machine and turing test of computer intelligence other things in the timeline are telegraph developed in the 1830s and 1840s by samuel samuel morse using morse code for communication then telephone alexander graham bell in 1876 and mobile phone by bell labs also another person martin cooper an engineer at motorola company in 1970s thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video if you haven't done that yet and also remember always pass on what you have learned thank you